So looking after your data is very important and also to replacing failing parts on your computer is important to keep it operational. But the question is how can you tell your hard drive is dying? Hey guys, Steve Mod here back with another video and today we're here with a question that I get all the time is how do I know when my hard drive is dying and when it might end up looking all sort of in pieces like that? Well at the moment we have two types of main drives and I guess we'll start to answer the question there. For SSDs it's a lot harder to actually tell when they're dying. Some companies such as Intel and Samsung will actually go ahead and put special firmware on it so it'll detect when it's starting to have failures and actually slow that drive down so much that the user will want to replace it because it's just going so slow. That's a good way of replacing it because not only are you getting told that your hardware is dying but also too you're keeping your data safe in that you can get it off before that drive will actually fail. This is also too a double effect because it also keeps the life of what little bit of life is left in that SSD going for a lot longer as it's not working as hard throughout its last little bit of life. But for the most part you can't exactly tell when an SSD is going to die like you can on the hard drive side. So today we'll be focusing mainly on the hard drive side with a little bit of touching on the actual SSD side because hard drives are a lot easier to spot when they're starting to die. But first we actually need to understand what is killing these hard drives before we actually go finding out whether they're dying or not. Now for the most part it's heat, time and sudden impact that will go ahead and kill these drives. If you go ahead and find a laptop for example and you want to move that around it's recommended that you go ahead and let that drive spin down before you go ahead and move it as it is spinning fairly fast and if you suddenly drop that laptop or something knocks into it you can go ahead and damage the small components that are moving around at really high RPMs. For example, this hard drive right here spins at over 1100 RPM, which is very, very fast. And if something was to knock into it, there would be a serious issue of it just being completely damaged. Now I did pick up the wrong hard drive. That one spins at 1100 RPM. This one does not, just for some clarification right there. Now in terms of actual damaging on a desktop side, you're less having that problem because of the fact by the time you turn off your computer and pull out any plugs on the desk, chances are that drive has spun down. So it's mainly on these more portable sides little hard drives that are found in laptops and even iPods for example they will be the ones experiencing the most amount of damage. Now we also too have heat as a major issue whether you have a stack of hard drives in kind of like a server array or you just have one in a thin and light notebook that doesn't get a lot of cooling heat will definitely reduce the overall lifespan as these are mechanical hard drives with moving parts in it they will get hot and over time that heat will go ahead and kill the little electrical components within the system. So it's recommended if you have a hot running laptop to go and get a cooling stand for it or cooling pad to add some extra cooling to the bottom of the laptop especially if it's a razor thin little notebook and it's actually using the bottom of the case to cool it down or if you're running a server or just a desktop where you have a lot of drives crammed next to each other or just a single one it is still recommended to have an intake fan to go ahead and put it there. In the desktop side it's fairly easy to cool them down as most of the time the hard drive bays are right next to some sort of intake so you're always getting cold fresh air over those hard drives. Now just like other mechanical drives or anything really that is mechanical over time time the motors will fail in these drives and I guess that's one of the next problems with them. The motors will just stop working. Now this can range to a sudden death to a slowly slowly death and it really depends on what you do end up with. A sign of this kind of dying is weird noises coming from the motors and also to just loss in performance as these motors won't be able to spin as fast meaning the drive won't be able to perform as fast. Now it's also too recommended to keep your computer turned off especially if it's running on mechanical hard drives to save that lifespan as the more those motors are spinning and the more they're going to wear out a lot faster. But if this is inconveniencing you then I guess you can just leave them on. Okay so we know exactly what kills them but how do we tell if they're dying? Well the first and most obvious one is if they just stop working that obviously means they've died and they're on their way to being no longer working. The next one is inconsistent performance whether it's plugging it in whether it's it's a USB external drive and you plug it in and it turns on and then it turns off and those kind of things that definitely means it's dying. If it's in an internal drive and you're getting errors in there, maybe corrupted files and those kind of things, that's definitely a next sign that you are having issues there. And just general lack in performance is also to another key form that these drives are failing and it might even be the motor. Next up is just speed and that sort of goes on with the whole first one that we just mentioned. For the most part, drives will definitely slow down dramatically at the end of their lives, especially ones with 
with special software on them that will go ahead and actually make the drives go even slower to make the user buy a new drive so they don't have all their data on that. Now to tell whether your drive is super slow and you're going to be losing it soon, go ahead and try and just transfer a small file, whether it be a Word document or a picture. If that takes a lot of minutes, like five or six minutes, then definitely something might be wrong with your computer, whether it be some sort of weird virus or it's actually the drive failing. Then we have the final one, which is chattering. Now most drives will make a chattering kind of sound when moving around the actual mechanical things and it's not actually half that bad if your drive is chattering when you're actually using it. That's a sign that, well, things are moving around and everything's all good. But when you're not actually using the drive, if your computer's just idling there, there's nothing happening in the background and you're not actually doing it and it's still chattering, then there is a serious issue. It could either be a motor dying or something on the platters or just something wrong with the whole hard drive in general, which means the drive is dying. Now the arms in there actually do move around, so if you are doing something or it's doing a background update or something like that, the drives will still be moving around and making those noises. So just make sure you know what is actually happening with your system before you go realizing that it's going to die. Now with SSDs, because there's actually no moving parts, you have no way of telling whether they're actually going to drive. And that's where programs that can measure smart actually comes in. Now smart programs are actually ways of the drive telling the software what's going on within it. And just about every hard drive and SSD today will have some sort of smart capability, whether it's very basic or a lot more advanced. Now some companies such as uh, WD and even other companies like Samsung will ship their drives with special software that will report back to you and give you monthly reports and graphs and datas and those kind of things, but there are plenty of free ones out there that I personally do use quite a lot. For example, Crystal Disk Info is one that I do highly recommend and one that I do use personally quite a lot as it gives a fairly easy way for the user to go ahead and understand with big text and just a really simple interface to use and you don't actually need a programming degree to actually understand. Now all versions of Windows I believe after Windows XP do come with software commands that you can put in to go ahead and activate these smart things but honestly most of the time it's a lot easier to, to download software. Now these smart programs can go ahead and read out things like life cycles, how long the drives have been turned on and just a whole ton of other information that can be very handy. Also too on the SSD side some of them do have the capability of reporting to these programs how many reads and writes they've done so you can keep a tab on well how much of the lifespan it actually has left. All you would need to do is go ahead to the, your vendor and find out how many reads and writes those SSDs are rated for and see how much you've done and then you kind of have an example of how much you have have left on your system. Overall, every drive ever made will go ahead and die at some point. That's kind of an inevitable point. But picking up early on stages before it goes ahead and dies can save your data from being lost. Protecting it from physical damage, heat and just other prolonged life issues is definitely recommended and turning off drives when they're not needed is also too again recommended. Leaving external hard drives plugged in and turned on isn't really going to be helping you in any way and keeping them in a safe environment is also too very handy. Andy. Installing any hard drives with the proper mounting screws and mounting them up properly with proper cooling is also too very helpful in the desktop environment as you're not going to be suffering from physical damage like this drive here today, but you'll be suffering from heat and other things like that that aren't going to be affecting a laptop. Other than that guys, like or dislike the video accordingly, let me know if you have your own personal smart favourite program. Also too, let me know if you found any dead hard drives or dying hard drives in your time. Give us a sub if you like what we're doing and I'll see you guys next time for another video.